Hey there my friend, welcome. In this video I'm going to teach you the perfect form of doing one arm dumbbell rows which is by far one of the most effective exercises for isolating your lats and building a big wide strong back. So in this video we're going to cover the perfect form, you're going to see me demo them here in my home gym and I'm also going to give you some ideas on how to incorporate this exercise into an overall workout program in terms of the proper sets and reps and where to put this in relation to your other exercises. I think you're going to learn a ton, take some notes, let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com. All right, so the setup for the one arm dumbbell row starts with a bench right here. You're gonna need one of these long benches because we're gonna get into a position here where I'm gonna have my dumbbell, my single dumbbell on the ground. I'm gonna take my, my opposite knee, so if I'm rowing my right arm, my right foot's gonna be planted here. My other knee's gonna sit firmly on the bench right here, and my left hand is gonna be here. So I'm making a tabletop of my back right now. What you wanna make sure is that you're totally in alignment. You don't want opening here, you don't want opening down here, you don't wanna be slouched back. This arm is right up and down, it's strong, it's braced. This leg is braced and my back is flat, so you wanna feel like you're on a flat plane. So now we're gonna grab the dumbbell, and I recommend, one of the mistakes that people make is they use a dumbbell that's too heavy. This is a really good motion for going lighter and feeling a bigger contraction. We can save the heavy barbell rows and other things for those really, you know, heavy motions. This is something that's nice to, be, to keep later in the workout as a little more of a refining tool with a lighter dumbbell. So I have a 30 pound dumbbell here. First thing I'm gonna do is see how my shoulders hanging down here. This is called anterior humeral glide where the, my humerus is going out of socket. The first thing we wanna do is bring it right up to here. So I'm retracting my shoulder blade. I'm right here in this good position. I never leave this position. With a lot of rowing, you see people make the mistake of letting that arm glide forward. Keep it here in this position right here. Head is forward, spine is neutral. I take a deep breath and I row right on up and squeeze that lat just like that and slowly bring it down right to starting position. Again, I'm not coming down here, I'm stopping right here. I pause for a second, boom, bring it right on up. Now the angle of the pull is interesting. It's not straight up like this where I'm scrunching my shoulder and it's not all the way back here really low, it's in the middle. I'm pulling almost just a tiny bit back, just like this and I'm pulling right here almost into my hip. Squeezing, coming right on down. Pause, up, come on down. I like to use a weight that allows me to pause for a second right here at the top to squeeze that lat and let it really open up right to here. I want you to think of your arm though as a cable. My arm, I'm not doing a bicep curl like this. I'm thinking of my arm as a cable and I'm pulling from my back. It's really uh, one way that can help if you're using a light enough dumbbell is actually take a grip where my thumb is on the outside. This honestly tends to engage more of the form in the bicep. You put the thumb on the outside right here, not necessary, but it can help cue you to come up in here and squeeze that back right on down. Pause, fire it up. Squeeze, pause for a second, right on down. So that's how you do a one-arm dumbbell row. To quickly cover some of the mistakes I see people make, they use a dumbbell that's way too heavy, they let that arm glide out of socket, they're doing a lot of this kind of stuff. You wanna keep very stable, very strong base, row, pause at the top, come on down and pause. Now, I just demonstrated one side. I'm gonna do the other side as well, which is very simple. You don't even need to move the bench. I would just flip over here on this side. Same setup, this leg's down, right here. Bring it up, deep breath, row, pause, right on down, pause, fire it up, pause, right on down, pause. So for these, as I briefly mentioned before, these are a great exercise for really isolating and feeling your lats work. So because of this, it's better to put this exercise a little bit later in your routine. Now whether you do a full body training plan or you do a back day or you do a full upper, full lower day, if you have another back exercise like rows or weighted pull-ups or anything like that, throwing this later in the workout is good because it enables you to use a lighter weight because your back's already a little fatigued and you can really focus on the proper form. If you put this first in your workout, you're gonna do what a lot of guys do probably, is run the risk of doing some sloppy rows where you're kind of working everything but your lats. And the goal of this is to really isolate and feel that lat, feel that good contraction at the top and bring it on down. Starting this exercise in a workout plan, I would say maybe two to three sets, anywhere of maybe 10 to 15 reps. 
I'd like you to invite you to try it in a little higher rep range because that's going to enable you to use a lighter weight and really feel that solid contraction the entire time. If you go too heavy on these, let's say in the six rep range and you're using like a 150 pound dumbbell, you're going to find that you're using a lot of body English, a lot of legs and hips and jerky stuff. Keep this motion as a refined, precise movement later in your workout where you can really isolate each side and feel your back work. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you like this and you like more of this stuff, then I want to invite you to check out our five best muscle building exercises for guys over 40. Here at the Fit Father Project, we're the specialists um, at health and fitness for busy fathers and men over 40. Um, and the links below this video, we have access to our five best muscle builders for men over 40 and how to do them safely. Um, these actually don't make the cut. They're close, but you'll see when you uh, actually send your email and, and download that guide what's in there, as well as our free 24 minute fat burning workout for busy guys. So if fat loss is your goal, then check out that 24 minute. All that stuff's linked below. Thank you for being here, my friend. Definitely hit subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'm grateful you found our channel and looking forward to helping you more with your health and fitness goals.